Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I'm excited to share with you guys yet again another men's, and in some cases, women's watch. Really, this is a unisex watch. And this is by a newer company, uh, new to the channel. Uh, if you guys haven't looked at all the different watches I've reviewed on the channel, there's over a thousand videos. And I know some of you come here uh, mainly for the watch reviews, mainly for the Invicta reviews, but keep in mind guys, there's a lot of really great watches out there that aren't just Invictus. There's all kinds of awesome watches. And remember, there's lots of different price variations across the board. There's a lot of markup on watches as well. And one thing I always want you guys to remember that when you buy a watch, it's a reflection of your personality. It's a reflection of yourself. If you're a kind of guy who likes big, bold, aggressive watches, then Invicta might be your cup of tea. If you're a guy who likes something small, really classy, you might want something kind of like maybe a Bulova. Um, and when I use the word classy, really classy comes down to anything that really you perceive as being classy. Remember, buy what you, you like, wear what you want to wear, and don't listen to any of the haters out there. Don't listen to anybody telling you what you should do. Always experience your own personality. Now one thing that's been very very popular I've noticed in the last couple years is wood watches and I love this type of watch because it's really earthy. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there who aren't really flashy right? Guys who would never wear a big giant over the top gaudy Invicta watch. It's just not for them. One of my best friends is like that. He's very conservative, very laid back, more of a guy who likes the outdoors. Don't get me wrong I love the outdoors. I'm always out there uh, you know crabbing and, and fishing. I love that stuff. But, um, you know, on a daily basis, I don't dress like I'm going outdoors. I, I'm not really a cargo pant kind of guy. I'm not really an outdoorsy kind of style. Usually you won't catch me in a flannel, you know what I mean? I'm nothing wrong with that. I do own flannels, don't get me wrong. No judgment, always wear what you like enjoy what you like. But this kind of watch, I think definitely speaks more to the outdoorsman uh, because it's made of materials from the earth. You have your woods, your metals, and of course, in this case, a sandstone. So this is by a company called Tree Hut, and Tree Hut makes several different variations. I'd say they're kind of like a smaller company, and they make watches in the price range. Uh, I'm just on their website right now. Uh, they definitely have something for everyone. They make watches in the price range about $125, there's a $79, uh, all the way up to $345 if you want to get into one of their, I believe, automatic uh, watches, which is very similar to what I'm going to show you guys right now. So the one I'm going to share with you guys today uh, is uh, called the Tau. And uh, let me just pop up the listing here. Let me show you the presentation first. Uh, this is the box, um, kind of like almost... I'm not sure what this kind of reminds me of. Definitely an earthy kind of a, um, a presentation. You have a lot of stuff going on on the outside, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of images or almost like emojis. And what you'll see on the side of the box, uh, you have a mountain range, you have a campfire, you have a, uh, a, a Volkswagen bus, you do have a, a camera, some wood, uh, a log, binoculars, uh, lots of things that really kind of symbolize the outdoors, camping, woodsy stuff. Uh, and this is just, that's just a perfect presentation for what this company's trying to get across. It is the watch for the outdoorsman. So um, that's the box. You have your Tree Hut logo right on top. Box just basically slides open, right side up, of course. And then you have the watch. And this is the towel. Pretty cool looking piece. Let me pop it out of the box here. Uh, you do get the instruction manual, although with watches, I never really understand why they provide instruction manuals uh, because realistically, um, you know, there's not really much to really um, explain on a watch, right? If it's a chronograph, it's pretty much a stopwatch. It's not really rocket science. But either way, they give you some information there about the watch. Uh, you do get a pillow included in the package and then the meat and potatoes of this review the watch. And what I really like about this one, when I was looking on their website uh, and they reached out to me and I want to thank them for their generosity and sending me this watch to share with you guys. Um, this is the one that kind of spoke to me the most because it's called Patina Gold. And I, you guys know I'm a huge fan of gold and anything that's really unique. And I think that of the wood watches that I've received from other manufacturers over the years, uh, this is definitely my favorite. I love the fact that they did that, did that really cool patinaed uh, aged gold look. It's not flashy, it's very earthy. And then you have your walnut in between each link. Um, each link is actually uh, held in place by spring bars, which is kind of unique because I've never seen uh, any of any watches for that matter uh, that are held in place with spring bars. So it makes it very easy to size the watch. You will need a small fork tool, which it does not come with, but they're really cheap and easy to find on eBay uh, just to pop these loose. Um, again, genuine walnut. You have your tree hut logo on the back of the dual push button deployant uh, clasp, which is uh, really my favorite clasp. 
of all watches. Uh, it's something Invicta doesn't use a lot of. Uh, it's ho hopefully it's something that maybe they'll add on newer pieces. I haven't noticed they've been doing that, but I think it's just a really secure way and a very easy way to get this on your wrist. Um, nothing like that. Um, as far as the band material, they do appear to be solid links where the metal is. And then the case is a combination of wood and that patinaed um, metal of some sort. I'm not sure if this is actually stainless steel. It doesn't list on the listing that it is. It definitely has some sort of plating on it. Um, I think it's more of a patina plating than it is uh, patinaed stainless steel. Uh, you have your sandstone on half the dial and then of course um, your what appears to be a lighter kind of uh, stained or actually now I look at it, it's, it's slightly lighter than the rest of the walnut on the watch but really interesting design. Um, now what I do find a little odd about this particular piece and not really in a bad way um, is that you do have uh, a couple different dials naturally you have your time and then you have uh, seconds and what appears to be uh, 30 minutes and normally this this would appear as a chronograph and on their website um, they refer to this as uh, Japanese quartz movement with 24 military time in date so I'm not really sure if that's, no, I'm sorry, I misspoke. I should have looked at that first. Uh, yeah, you have 24 hour military time and then the date. So that makes sense. So when you actually set the watch, um, this one here, you basically, it'll come with a little plastic tab. You pop that out and then you, uh, you, you, you'll be in the number two position. So when I turn that right now, I'll demonstrate uh, you are actually setting the time. And as you're turning and setting the time, uh, it's already synced with the military time. So uh, definitely something to check out though when you, let me just go ahead and make sure that when we're at the midnight position, yeah, you're lined up at midnight. So uh, both dials line up and of course you have uh, the date. So that's pretty cool. Different kind of complication than a lot of the watches I have. I was in the impression when I first looked at it that it was a chronograph. I stand corrected. So pretty awesome looking watch. As far as uh, the weight on this here, um, it's definitely very, very lightweight. Uh, so if, if you're a guy who, and that's probably the addition of the wood on the watch, if you're a guy who likes a watch that is very lightweight and isn't a fan of something really heavy that you feel on your wrist, this is a very comfortable watch. And I really like the fact it's a very earthy watch. You have that walnut bezel. You have, again, the walnut on half the face. Uh, and then, of course, you have that genuine sandstone on top of the face and kind of a, almost like a case and cradle design, but not. You have your walnut on the insides of the case. And I like the fact that that inside ring underneath the walnut bezel they made in kind of a more of a, a more of a yellow gold, more of a non-patina gold. A really nice contrast on this here. I think it's a great looking piece and definitely something that if you are a guy, again, who's looking for something that's kind of, I would say, more minimalist, uh, nothing over the top, clean, classy, uh, and something that's just gonna, you know, really be very earthy, I definitely recommend this brand. Um, as far as case size, you're looking at 43 millimeters, and that's with the walnut wood, and they say that this here on this listing, they say gunmetal stainless steel. Uh, I think that's incorrect. This is actually a patina. Uh, this is not what gunmetal looks like. Again, Japanese quartz movement. The movement is not mentioned, the brand, it's not like a Ronda or anything like that. It's just kind of a generic uh, Japanese movement. Uh, really, nowadays, um, you know, it's there's you're gonna get a lot of different answers on what's good, what's not. Quartz watches always tell great time, even with very inexpensive entry level movements. Uh, 20 millimeter, three link. This says gunmetal stainless steel with walnut band. I believe they meant to say patinaed steel. So a lot of times they have different models to watch. I do believe they make a gunmetal variation here. They do. Okay, so uh, might have been something that. Maybe I uh, clicked the wrong link here. Nope, that's the one. Weird. Um, interesting. So when I just clicked the link for that watch before for the Tau, it showed this watch, but now uh, this one's saying Tau Gray Marble. So maybe they sold out, maybe they updated the website, not really sure, but it is available in the gunmetal with the walnut, the gold patina, which looks to me right now that, let me just double check here while I got you guys here, uh, looks to me like that one's not showing up on their website anymore. So this one probably sold out. So if you want to get this one here, you're going to have to go with the gunmetal right now. Uh, and they do make different variations. One watch, I actually just reached back out to them. Um, is this the one here? No. Uh, they make one called the Aster Gray Marble and Ebony. It's kind of like a, uh, a gray... 
you have the gray marble around the face, and then you have this kind of dark ebony wood in between, like kind of blue stainless steel, which is a really nice looking watch. Um, I definitely hope I can get my hands on that. They do make the Tau Marble Ebony Edition, which is also like a black kind of watch um, in this design, and a few different variations of different watches. So I encourage you guys to click the link in the description, check out what they have to offer. I think if you are in the market for a wood watch, uh, they definitely have something that's pretty unique. Price point on this here, um, I will say compared to a lot of the different wood watches out there, um, again, there's lots of markup on watches. You can find watches that are wood for about 40 bucks. Uh, this one here is going to run you about $285. Again, it really depends on what you're going to be getting uh, when it come, you know, comes to brand for brand. There's lots of different manufacturers out there. Um, I think one of the watches that I've reviewed in the past uh, was Bobo Bird. And I can't think of the other well-known brand. Um, I just can't. It's on like the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. But it's very popular. One of my buddies has one. He absolutely loves it. And I think this is in line with what you're going to get or what you're going to pay for a watch that's a combination of wood, sandstone, and stainless steel. Again, remember, guys, a lot value in a watch is what you think value should be. If you feel like spending $8,000 for a Rolex watch is worth it to you, then you should buy it. For me, I don't think so. I think it's way too much for a watch. I think for what you're going to get for your money, it's a, it's a waste of money. But that's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it, but always buy what you like, buy what makes you happy, and I think that if you find value in it, something that you really like, enjoy, and whatever gets you involved in collecting watches and wearing watches, I think is fantastic. There are so many cool and unique brands out there. Um, I definitely encourage you to check out Tree Hut uh, for their different models. I love the fact that, you know, I've seen a lot of watches that are made of wood and metal. I haven't seen a trifecta with the wood, metal, and stone, and I've reached out to a few companies for stone watches in the past, and I think that this is absolutely unique. Now, I'm not sure if that sandstone on here is just a real thin layer. Sandstone is generally very soft. I'm not sure how they get this on the face of the watch, but it's definitely very, very unique, and I think it definitely blends uh, very well with the different colors on the watch. Again, the patina, the sandstone, and that walnut. Um, it's a great looking piece, guys. Uh, so that's about it, guys. I want to thank Tree Hut for their generosity once again in sending me this. Um, but let's go ahead and do what you guys always, always enjoy, and that's seeing what the watch looks like on the wrist. Now, I'm a guy who wears watches from 38 millimeter all the way up in, into 70 millimeter Invictas, right? So again, there's a time and a place for different watches. Again, some guys wear those big, huge watches all day long. For me, I kind of rotate my watches. Sometimes I don't want to wear a big watch. Sometimes I want to wear something very, very lightweight, something not too uh, too over the top. Uh, like earlier, I was wearing this bad boy, my Invicta. Uh, this is um, one of my specialty watches. I absolutely love this model. I have another one coming in the mail. Um, Sometimes I want to wear something small, very subtle, uh, very downplayed. So it really just depends on your mood. And of course, if you don't piss your money away on something you can't afford, like a lot of these knuckleheads out there, you know, for $5,000, you can get a lot of really cool watches and still have money in the bank. So you don't have to spend a lot to get a lot of bang for your buck and to look good, guys. And remember, you're never going to see me puking my opinions uh, down your throat with the motivation to say, oh, no, don't buy that because this is something that I like. Remember, always buy what you like. Always express you, your own personality and wear it in good health. Uh, so once again, I'm about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 174 pounds, and I have a 7-inch wrist. So this is what a watch looks like I've got my size, my height, and my weight. Um, everybody's body is different. If you have a smaller wrist, this is 43 millimeter. So I would say if you're used to a little tiny 38 millimeter watch, uh, this is going to be big for you. But 43 millimeter is very wearable. The only time you really, in my opinion, start getting involved in oversized watches is when you start hitting that 50 millimeter mark. Um, again, I wear watches all up to 70. Uh, none of it really phases me. I don't find it one more comfortable than the other. But as far as weight, this is very, very lightweight and definitely the, you're not really going to notice it on your wrist. So there it is, guys. That's the Tree Hut Tau done it in the patina gold and a walnut with that sandstone. Um, again, a very popular watch, watch, obviously, because these were in stock the other day. And it looks like that they are not in stock right now when it comes to this color combination. Um, if you want something a little more affordable, if 285 isn't your cup of tea, again, they make watches 95, 145 that are going to give you walnut. Uh, you can get a zebra wood. 
uh, in ebony and zebra wood. I always like when it comes to wood, uh, those two tones. It just really makes the wood kind of pop. So pretty awesome watch, guys. I encourage you to check it out. Link is always in the description. If I can help you guys in any way whatsoever, don't hesitate to ever ask. I check my, my comments and email throughout the entire day. Today's day and age, there's no excuse uh, for lack of common courtesy to get a hold of somebody. And if you reach out to me with a problem or a question, I'm going to give you guys uh, my best uh, opinion or the best information I can come up with uh, on these great products that are made. So we live in a cool world, lots of neat stuff out there. And remember guys, always step up your watch game. As a man, I think everybody should wear a watch. And again, if you're, it's not your thing, that's okay too. If a smart watch is your thing, that's okay too. So check it out guys. Again, Tree Hut. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. Guys, have a wonderful evening. If you like the content, do subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And remember, no matter what brand you choose, always be kind and respectful of other people until they give you a reason not to. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.